Boxing College Weekly, we're here to stay. GTA is in the club, we're all about good times. And that's, a, that's another thing that really caught us was, was the brand, the whole image behind, you know, beatbox is pretty much exactly how we are as with Good Times Ahead and GTA, you know, like, we just love having a good time and like the whole vibe of, of beatbox and what it is speaks exactly to the kind of environment that we want to create at our shows. And like, that's why it's the world's tastiest beverage, we did the world's tastiest party with it, we went hand in hand. I mean, it's crazy, like it's crazy that Mark Cuban would like just invest in that though, like that'd be... I know, man, I, I, like, that was the one thing I was like watching and I was like, holy oh, shit, dude. <laughs> we're actually a part of something with Mark Cuban. The legend shark, <laughs> aka the magnet. And I'm Cuban, so like, it's like in the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you got the world's tastiest beverage, and we play shows, you gotta, you know, make a little tour of it and show people what the world's tastiest beverage is. So, uh, you know, just like started talking to the beatbox guys, and we just thought about, hey, why don't we put a little tour together? This is the perfect thing for that. You know what I mean? One can get you turned, and you'll be good for the rest of the night. Two will change your life. Two will change your life. You can be going on. Austin was sick. I had never been there before, I don't think. So it was a really rad little town. The show was really fun. The venue was sick. Austin was cool. We've been there before. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely a good like first bang of the tour. It was, it was packed. There was a bunch of people like going nuts the whole time. Like Sam killed it. The crowd was nuts. I actually saw random people that I went to high school with from San Diego that came up on stage. So it was a really good time. The vibes were pumping. Uh, well, that's the hometown of Beatbox, you know? Like, that's kind of where it started. We went and uh, met and got to party with all the founders and stuff. Like, what a, what a better place to start it than where it started. Shout out Austin. We had to come back, and it was mad fun. Okay, College Station was so lit. There's people like hanging off rafters. Everybody was turned on beatbox. The whole front row was getting sprayed with giant bags. Everybody was going crazy. I mean, yeah, that was one of my favorite shows, I think, on the whole tour. Los Angeles is awesome, and it always is a special show because A, we're based here, B, this is one of our favorite markets to play, mm -hmm. and C, honestly, like one of the best crowds, I think, for especially the kind of music we play, obviously was even more escalated with just because of the beatbox being there and everybody going crazy. Yeah, we love playing out here. The, the crowd always turns out to whatever we play. It's like for a DJ, that's like everything you want in a show. We brought out Jen Morrell, who performed our new song. At his, uh, we also released uh, a song called Buscando. It's the first time she performed it too. Like we never had a performance before that with her and she killed it. It was fun, it was fun as hell. Take me back. Crowds are always turning up. The colleges are crazy down there, I feel like. It's just people know how to party. And all the fans that were there were telling us like, oh, thank you guys for coming. Like nobody ever comes out through here and you know plays like dope music like you guys do. We wanted to specifically go in and get back to like that gritty house party kind of vibe. It was really it was really cool. Dope yeah. barbecue. <laughs>
you guys saw, we make up a little set before every show, just to try to get the newest tracks. And when we get in here, kind of mingle a bit with some friends, have a bit of drinks, and then we usually do like 15, 20 push-ups and then take a shot. We're from the south, we're just playing like live rock venues and stuff, and then when we get to Spire, it's just like a full-on club. When we played at Spire, we were playing like original like house tracks and that kind of stuff, and that stuff was going off. I think most of it had to do with just the setting, you know what I mean? Like Spire being a club, and then you know South Carolina being a, a live venue. But um, yeah, both were equally fun. GTA up in the club, we're all about good times. <laughs> GTA set, how was it? Well, I DJ as well, and they're amazing. Never anything short of Their amazing. edits, fire, 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 fire. all fire. Awesome. Yeah. So good. I need the whole set. That was the first festival that we played, you know, with Beatbox, a part of it as well, and sponsoring the festival. It was dope. We hadn't played that festival before. I hadn't, hadn't even heard of it before, Mala Luna. Um, but it was dope. There's a lot of young rappers. And of course, it's so cool to see everyone partying and then having Beatbox already in the crowd, and we're not just throwing it out to people. You know, every, everyone's everyone was turning up. It was. Awesome. Yeah, it was really fun. And yeah, shout out to Dylan Francis too, he played that one. Good times ahead, let's get that there. is actually one of our best markets I feel like for, like for GTA. It's one and of the first uh, markets we ever sold out. They have like a hashtag it's like El Paso knows how to party. Like all of our fans that have always been coming to our shows always show up at those El Paso shows. El Paso we usually do like really big venues and for festivals and stuff and it was cool to do like a little smaller club kind of bar thing. <laughs> was uh, definitely different than a lot of the tours that we've been on as a recent. Mostly we've been playing like really big festivals and we hadn't really had a chance to get back to these college markets and play these shows that are kind of spontaneous. So it was really cool to get back to that. Like it really brought us back to like our roots. You know, everyone's just having such a good time. That's what we're about. Good music, good drinks, good times. <laughs> Shout out to all the fans, big shout out to all the venues that helped us out, Beatbox, the whole team, we love you guys. Yo, what's up guys, we're GTA. And this was the world's tastiest party.